Today we're gonna to cover five tips when you're considering selling your home. First tip I have for you as a seller is contact your realtor before you start doing stuff to your house, getting ready to sell it. I've gone into houses where the clients call me, they say, hey, we did a bunch of cleanup work on our house, we're ready to sell it. And I go over to meet them and realize that they put brand new shag carpet back in. That's not what people are looking for today and sometimes they put that right over hardwood floors. So if you contact your realtor ahead of time, they can walk through the house with you, give you some ideas on how to prep the house for market and, and get you pointed in the right direction. Item number two, what myself or maybe another realtor may cover is prepping your house for the market. You may have lived there for five years, 10 years, 25 years, and over that period of time, you accumulate a lot of stuff. The goal is to declutter it, make it a little less uh, personalized, put yourself in the buyer's shoes and think about what buyers are looking for today. And that may just be grabbing a few magazines off the local uh, rack at the newsstand, or maybe going out to a few open houses and seeing houses that are vacant and staged and cleaned up compared to something that's vacant and it's a fixer upper. Tip number three is be prepared to be a little inconvenienced in the process of selling your house. I, I've dealt with enough clients that it's, it's not a ton of fun to do a bunch of work to your house, then we, we get it up for sale and then you need to keep it clean all the time. You know, no dishes in the sink, got to pick up the laundry. So just taking that into consideration as, as you start the process to know that there's gonna be some adjustments you need to make to help work together with the realtor to get your place sold. Tip number four is when you're selling your house, you're obviously going someplace else and it may be some place you've vacationed over the years and now you wanna live there. I would suggest you know, either getting a referral from me for a realtor in that area or you know, go down, stay for a few weeks, check out you know, the city or the area that you're planning on moving to. Know that it has you know, hospitals or the different amenities that you're looking for as a resident as opposed to just hanging out there for vacation because you know that it's a different different uh, lifestyle of being on vacation or living somewhere so you want to go out do your homework spend some time there if you can if your schedule allows or at least do some homework online know what the market is know what the prices are see if the market's moving fast or slow if there's a lot of houses for sale or just a few and what you want to do and be prepared. As a realtor, we, we cover a lot of different areas when we're working with clients, and there's some areas that we're just not trained or qualified in, but we know a little bit about, at least to point you in the direct, right direction. One is the legal issues, the other is tax issues. So I'm not a tax consultant or an attorney, but I do know that when you're selling a house and it's your primary residence, that there's some tax benefits to that, and it may not. There may be you know, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, 500,000 that you need to be paying taxes on. So you wanna know that ahead of time so you don't go out and spend that money on the new place and then find out the following year that you need to write the government a check for 50 or $60,000 that you've already spent. If you want to go into depth a little bit further on any of these topics or if you have other things that you're thinking about that may impact you as a seller feel free to give me a call shoot me an email and we can chat further about your particular needs